Hi, I'm Stacy Cordes. I've been given the opportunity to do today's reading, February 22nd of 2021. And it's the first Peter chapter five, verse one through four. So I exhort the presbyters among you as a fellow presbyter and witness to the sufferings of Christ and one who has a share in the glory to be revealed. Tend the flock of God in your midst, overseeing, not by constraint, but willingly, as God would have it, not for shameful profit, but eagerly. Do not lord over it those assigned to you, but be examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd is revealed, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. Okay, so in this reading, it really is just encouraging me and reminding me that we just need to do things for God, for Jesus, to get into heaven. Do those little things that come upon us with a happy heart, whether it's the mundane home chores that we have to do from dishes to laundry, um, just scooping our driveways out of snow, and um, just being happy about it and doing it and doing it in his name. And um, sometimes I find that God has hidden jobs for me that are more like I find myself somewhere and he'll want me to do something. And I don't know what that is until the time comes. You know, I've been at women's retreat and it was Lent and our Palm Sunday and we got all got our palms and I knew how to make the crosses out of the palm branches. And so I did that for others and gave them crosses with their palm branches. And I've been, you know, it's just like opening the door for people. Simple things are in line at the grocery store and somebody's counting out pennies and change to pay for the bill. And you just go ahead and just, here, I've got it for you. You know, it's the little small things and those little small jobs that he gives us opportunities to do. You know, you kind of just, it's a little job here, do it, do it with a happy heart and go on about your business. One thing in particular for me, which is strange, but I end up witnessing accidents and being at the scene of an accident over the years. And I've taken CPR years ago I hope I would know it if there would be a time that would be in need, but I've been in accidents and my family knows that I'm gonna pull over if it's on the road and I'm gonna stop to help. It's been our mail lady back in the day. It's been anonymous people that have gone over the hill on the highway and been in accidents. And I'm, whether it's there to calm somebody or call 911 or I've chased a dog down the highway because a vehicle crashed and their dog got out the window and so I went down and chased it and brought it back. Um, calling a parent for them to come to the, be with their child at the scene of an accident. These things are, I think, extraordinary that I've been at and I feel blessed that he's using me for that. But I think sometimes we're too busy in normal life that we've got to run here, run there, and do this errand and do that errand. And, and it's all true, but I think we should also take a moment to remember these little um, God moments to create a holy moment for somebody that might be around us, that he's using us, and to do those with a happy heart. Um, I made some other notes here, but they're more like bullet points. I don't know how to put them out. It's just kind of in my head. You just kind of know them. And um, we're all shepherds, and we're all doing his work because in the end, you know, we will be in his kingdom. And I hope during this Lent this year that each of you can slow down for a moment, have a holy moment, create a holy moment. We don't have to be Mother Teresa and save the world, but we can create that next holy moment for somebody, whether it's opening a door, 
You may not be called to be at the scene of an accident. It may not be big things. It might be pushing a cart back for somebody that's elderly that can't do it. But all those little things are holy moment and do those with a happy heart. This just can be mundane, but do them for Jesus. It's just getting us all there in the end. Thank you. God bless.